Hello and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today's video is about a question that I get asked a lot. How long do screen printed t-shirts or other garments last? How long does the screen print last? Okay, and there are going to be a couple contributing factors to how long a screen print will last on the t-shirt. And of course, the first of which is your cure. If your cure is proper, then uh, you will see some of the results that I'm going to show you today of shirts that are uh, 20 or maybe 30 years old. Because, you know, I'm 41 and, uh, well, actually, they'll be about 20 years old, I guess, because I printed these maybe when I was 19 or 20 years old, okay? And I printed them in my brother's shop in New York State because he, he has a full sc service screen printing shop in New York State uh, that he's been doing screen printing for over 25 years. And uh, I learned a lot from him. And uh, my father actually has been in the industry for many, many years. So um, I, I uh, have a lot of connections and I know a lot about screen printing. So uh, I've been printing a long time and I printed my first shirt when I was 11 years old with my uncle in my basement of my father's house with water-based inks. And, and he's an artist. He used to do hand-drawn drawings. and. Uh, we used to make t-shirts and posters and art with it. So, today I wanted to show you some of the screen printed t-shirts that I did uh, about 20 years ago, I think, would be a more accurate uh, uh, time frame. And uh, note that, you know, what I want to say is, is a lot of these t-shirts I stopped wearing not because the screen print wore out, but because the t-shirt wore out. or uh, you know, something happened to the t-shirt or even after a while, you know, certain t-shirts just get odors to them that you just can't get out. You know, they get, they just get too old and, and the shirt wears out before anything. So let's take a look. I've got a stack of shirts here. Let's take a look at a couple of t-shirts before we move on some fleece. I'm going to show you some sweatshirts that I printed some years ago and show you how well those uh, prints hold up. All right. So let's take a look at the first shirt. All right, so here's a t-shirt I printed. This one probably was closer to like, you know, it's probably like 18 or 19 when I first started printing with my brother. And uh, we used to do these kind of fake all over prints. It was just an oversized print that we did on the front and back, the same, same print on the front and back, and it kind of makes it look like it has an all over print. Uh, this shirt, as you can see, the black dye is washed out. This has been washed hundreds and hundreds of times and this was done with a one hit on uh, like an 8 double X which would be you know nowadays it would be considered probably like an 80 mesh count um, and we were able to get good detail let's look at a close-up real quick there you go quick close-up you can see the white ink performed very well uh, there is a little cracking but uh, some of that is in the artwork, the way the artwork was done, but, but you can see, you know, that after 20 years or so, you know, the, the, the shirt is more worn out than the print. Again, this is another shirt that I probably did when I was 19 or 20, and uh, this was for Iron Horse Magazine. It was a biker magazine that my brother printed for at the time, and this one here, uh, you can actually see uh, that there is some uh, cracking and and losing of the of the white ink. So uh, let's take a close up look at this one. Okay, so you can see that in certain areas the ink actually started to crack and you know is washing off, not right away, but you know over the years. Okay, so uh, this kind of situation here uh, is normal and expected. In other words. Uh, this shirt is 20 years old or whatever, so uh, the way it looks right now is actually fully acceptable. And uh, as you know, these days uh, people try to mimic this kind of wear. So, um, you know, this shirt held up very, very well. All right, so here's a bootleg that my brother decided to do just for us. We wanted to print a couple of these shirts for ourselves. 
So we did this design and uh, this again is another one that's got to be about 20 years old and uh, interestingly enough it does have a white underbase under the text and you can see that the yellow is perfect but again in the white we notice that after this time of washing and wearing and stuff you have some cracking and again that is perfectly normal for a 20 year old screen printed t-shirt. Okay, so you can see that that even though there's a white underbase, this this would have been part of the underbase. Um, you know, back in the day, my brother was very very good at getting white ink coverage without any kind of flash hit flash or anything. I mean, uh, we had a really good ink back then, which is no longer available. And uh, but you can see that that everything is holding together except just the white ink itself over time you know, tends to do this kind of thing. But again, this is a 20 year old shirt. So that's pretty cool. We took a look at a couple t-shirts. Now let's look at uh, sweatshirts, which is fleece, and uh, see comparatively how they hold up over washing times over a course of 15 to 20 years. Let's check it out. All right, so here's one that we did for Pima Air and Space Museum some time ago, about 10 years ago and uh, this particular uh, job did not have a white underbase so uh, this one held out really good let's look at a close-up shot all right so now this is going to be the youngest out of all the sweatshirts we're looking at today so uh, like I said I think this one's about 10 years old and it's been washed and worn many many times so uh, you can see that screen printing holds up very well <laughs> the screen printing business has been very good to me. Well, this is a uh, this is an old shirt. This shirt here has to be about uh, the sweatshirt. It's fleece has to be about 20 years old. And this particular job was done with no white underbase with all these colors. And again, uh, that goes back to my brother's expertise. He had some really really good inks back then, which you know inks have changed and. Uh, due to the nature of, of the economy, oftentimes ink performance uh, suffers as they try to, uh, you know, lower the cost of the ink production. So, um, you know, this type of design may not be able to be printed without a white underbase today. Let's take a close-up look. All right, so you can see again that this, this uh, print held up very well. This shirt I wore a lot in high school. So I know that this shirt here is, you know, got to be about 20 years old, this sweatshirt. And uh, you might be seeing what you think is fading or flaking of the black, but that's just the way the, the light in the camera, this black is fine. There has been no ink loss on this screen print whatsoever. Okay, so here's another fleece sweatshirt that we definitely did about 20 years ago. And again, this would have been done on that 8XX mesh, which is probably like an 80. 80 mesh and uh, you know it, it it you can see that back then we were laying a lot of white ink on there and um, we did not have to use a flash hit flash method or anything like that we used to do what I call putty job today you basically flood it a few times and stroke it a couple times and and then when you when you pull up your last you know when you pull up the last flood you're leaving some ink in the mesh that pulls through and it leaves this heavy deposit. And you can see we did sleeve prints as well. So let's take a close-up look at this part. All right, there you have it. You can see that uh, this particular um, white ink print job suffered no ink loss, no cracking, uh, nothing to that effect. And uh, that could be simply due to the heavy ink deposit or, uh, you know, the fact that on, on fleece and tight-knit sweatshirts, the ink tends to set on top of the fabric quite a bit. So, um, this one was obviously well done. And uh, for a 20-year-old uh, fleece sweatshirt, there has been no data loss to this print. All right, so here's a uh, Harley-Davidson shirt that we did for a dealership in New York City. And uh, this actually has a white underbase underneath the orange, but the, the, uh, the white you see here is just a one hit, a putty hit. There is no flash hit flash there. So let's take a close up look so you can see how much white ink is on there and how good 
my brother actually does his artwork where the orange overprints the white underbase by like half a line point and this is what you want so that you don't end up with white spaces underneath your color. Uh, this shirt again once again the black you can see you can see that the black uh, the black dye of the shirt is uh, wearing out much faster than the print. In other words the shirt the black shirt is ashy but the print is still vibrant and in full color and that's what screen printing is all about. Direct screen printing is without a doubt the best uh, garment decorating process known to man. So the answer to the question is how long does screen printing last on garments? How long does screen printed designs last? How long do they last? How long do screen printed t-shirts last? Well they last the longest. They're going to last longer than heat transfers. They're going to last longer than direct to garment. They're going to last longer than sublimation. And not only that, the method is more versatile and able to do much, much more than those aforementioned processes. Okay, so that's the answer. Direct screen printing is the highest quality uh, garment decorating method that you can use with the longest durability and the longest uh, color um, hold. In other words, the vibrancy of the colors will hold best. Okay? And uh, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video sharing you with you a little bit about me and my past and my history and some of the shirts that I've printed over the years and show you how they actually look 20 years later washed and worn a million times. So uh, hopefully that'll answer the question. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments. And right now, I really need you guys to subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. I need your support. If you like this video or any other of my screen printing videos, please subscribe. That helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching and if you like what you see, rate thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you next time.